Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. This is the week 9 fantasy basketball update and everything you need to know about the past week and the upcoming week in fantasy basketball. Y'all ready to get into it? 3, 2, 1, let's get it, let's go. Boom! This video is brought to you guys by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a ticket app where you guys can buy tickets for a great price and actually know the value of what the seat you're buying. This app gives you access to a visual view of what you guys will be actually seeing when you guys purchase the ticket. So basically, it is everything for you guys all in one app. It is an app for sports games, concerts, you can name it all. So make sure you guys download the app and be sure to use my promo code EASYBUCKETS to get a $20 discount on your first purchase. So if you guys are new to the channel, we are a fantasy basketball channel. What I do is I talk to you guys about weekly fantasy basketball updates, the best way for wise, the trade targets, and everything about fantasy basketball to help you guys win your fantasy league. What I personally do different here guys is I actually help you guys with your fantasy basketball teams. So if you guys need any help guys, go follow my easy dot buckets instagram account send me a dm and i'll do my best to help you guys make the right choices for your fantasy squads right now i'm holding a very special christmas contest so if you guys have not seen that video or want to know more about it guys go to my instagram account easy dot buckets scroll down in the pages and you'll definitely see that christmas contest giveaway without wasting any more of your time we're going straight to this video so the first thing we're going to talk about guys is the schedule guys we always talk about the schedule about what teams and how many games they're going to be playing in week nine and you know what guys this week we have 16 teams playing three games and 14 teams playing four games so on this list, i listed all the teams that are playing three games so every other team is going to be playing four games so keep that in mind and now talking about the injuries we got five important new injuries that will now be affecting your fantasy squads in the weeks coming forward guys and these injuries are you know what guys not the worst the first injury is gary harris of the denver nuggets guys he is now out with a hip injury it is said to be about three to four weeks at least could be more if there's no setbacks but if you want Gary Harris, it's a time to put him in your injury list. Brandon Ingram has missed the past few games with an ankle injury. Now it is confirmed. It says at least one week, so I'm going to put it at a one to two week basis for his ankle injury. That TJ Ward missed the past week worth of games, guys. He also has an ankle injury. And you know what? His return is soon, but it's now it's not confirmation, so he's still day to day. We got Paul Millsap. This is probably the biggest injury on this list. He got hit with a broken right toe. Right now, he's had an MRI. We don't know the exact exact date but in my prediction it could be more than a month moving over to the player of the week guys this one player guys proved to us his fantasy value and just shocked all of us about what he can do and what happened to him on the team that he's on and that's jimmy butler in, oh, in, in other words jimmy buckets of the philadelphia 76ers last week he averaged about 33 points a game and you know what guys this whole week he had a back-to-back -back game of 38 points made the philly win and he's scoring Plus seven free throws a game, getting you good steals, good three pointers at 1.7, six boards a game, and a good amount of assists, guys. Jay Butler was a great player, and you know what? He did get traded to the Sixers. I personally thought his value would drop, but his value is slowly increasing, playing with Embiid and Ben Simmons. So if you guys agree to that selection, hit that thumbs up button as soon as you can. Now we're gonna switch up to the players that their value is rising and their stock value is increasing. In other words, they are playing better and are overperforming than what they did recently. The first part on this list is Lonzo Ball of the Los Angeles Lakers. Because Lonzo Ball has been playing great fantasy basketball-wise. He's playing basketball to what he did last year. And for the past week, he's done great. He averaged almost 12 points in assists. Plus two steals a game, and that's what we want with Lonzo Ball, guys. A low-end point guard giving you plus seven assists and plus ten points with good steals and three percentages. Next up, we got Andrew Wiggins of the Timberwolves, guys. He's finally showing us some decent fantasy value. He averaged about 19 points last week. And you know what, guys? His minutes, if you watch that system play with Thibodeau, guys, he is now their starting shooting guard, not small forward, starting shooting guard with Covington at the three, which makes his level of his scoring a little more effective. Andrew Wiggins is still not the fantasy player we want to be, but he is trending up. Next player is Jermichael Green of the Memphis Grizzlies, guys. He's had a great week since his return to the team. He's showing that he's going to be that player off the bench, that six-man role that's going to be giving plus 15 points and a good, decent rebounds. For the past week, he's averaged 19 points a game, 8.7 boards, and a high two-plus steals a game. And that's really great for Jermichael Green. With Jaron Jackson Jr. is still the starting power forward, and that will remain... Jaren Jackson Jr. is known to get in foul trouble, but Jermichael Green is that six man off the bench. Next up, we're switching to the stock value drop. There's one player that their value is slowly dropping, and I suggest that you guys act 
quickly. But in this specific person, I just want to say he is going to get better. But right now, with this specific situation, there is a risk of value drop. And this player is Chris Middleton of the Milwaukee Bucks. Because over the past week, he's averaged only 10 points a game. One assist, which is not what we want from a 20-plus point player like Middleton. We expect him to do so much more for our team to get steals, get threes, get free throws. Middleton is just not doing that. But you know what? It's sad to say this, but his value is dropping. We don't know what reason it is, guys. He's been benched over the past fourth quarters. We don't know what is going on with him and Mike, the coach. But let's hope and hope that he'll turn it around. Now for the last topic, the waiver wire pickups, guys. This week, I'm going to be giving you guys three waiver wires because I believe that this week, there was a lot of injuries and a lot of players could definitely help that void for your fantasy teams. The Jakob Polo of the Spurs, there is no injury here. But the thing is, Jakob Polo seems to be a great player that Greg wants to use. He could potentially be starting soon. Next up, we got Malik. Beasley of the Denver Nuggets guys with Gary Harris out almost a month Malik Beasley is gonna be that guy we want to pick up giving you stats similar to Gary Harris and the last player is Trey Lyles guys with Paul Millsap's injury also not confirmed how long it is Trey Lyles is gonna start at that power four position I should be giving you some decent points threes and a low end value at all around stats so you have a chance to get Trey Lyles Trey Lyles is probably one of the better players on this top three waiver wire picks Alright guys, well that wraps up the video on the week 9 fantasy basketball update. If you guys enjoyed the list and enjoyed the video guys, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and I'll definitely appreciate that. Once again, if you're new to Easy Buckets guys, hit that subscribe button and don't miss any of these weekly update videos by hitting that bell. But if you guys have any questions, put that down in the comment section down below because I want us to start our discussion because that's what fantasy basketball is all about. But other than that guys, take it easy, God bless, and I'll see you guys next time on Easy Buckets. Woo! I feel like Usain in the cheetah print Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute Okay, let's proceed with it I'm in the house, got to deep with it These bozos always sneak this And they taking shots, I'ma keep with it Like, no, no, this league business